We have more news on Mike Van Wick assaulting Jeff Nippert and what really went down. Now, a lot of you really disliked my last video because it was thought that I was being quite biased towards, well, just being against Jeff Nippard at large. I want to say very clearly that I don't hate Jeff Nippard. I don't dislike him as a human being. I just don't necessarily agree with everything he says. For instance, claiming that 52 sets or something like that for a leg day is optimal. In no way, shape or form was I trying to say that in this video, Mike was right. He was absolutely wrong, and I want to be very clear in this video that I don't agree with what Mike did. I don't think that he was right to display his feelings. And I thought I made that pretty clear with all the jokes about being a roid head and Mike being really insecure and Mike learning from Drake how to get in his own feelings and not control them accurately, but apparently not. So I just want to clearly say I don't agree with what Mike has done. I think he is a fucking idiot and he should get a lawsuit, but in Canada it doesn't really work that well because everything here is broken but my main point is i don't think he was right mike is an awful person in doing this and he shows a lot of his true character which again i made this very clear or at least i thought in the previous video now initially i had thought that in this video there had been some transgressions between mike and jeff that were off camera it seemed that there was a rumor in which jeff was pestering mike and someone had saw this at the gym and then published about it but as someone who had reviewed the footage made it very clear it does seem that actually mike was the instigator and it was a situation that was driven entirely by Mike. And we see this with Jeff Nippard's most recent post on Instagram where he is getting an, a CT scan done because well, he got thrown to the ground by his neck. And remember, Jeff is a very small guy. Mike is a quite larger human being and the disproportionate strength output in just a push is pretty radical. And so Jeff very likely got quite hurt. He could have gotten much, much greater injuries through hitting a metal stand for weights or anything that was in the gym and i talked about this in the past video as well thankfully he's generally okay in this post he says that this is exactly what happened and there were many witnesses mike van wick jabbed me in the throat twice in the middle of the gym and then shoved my cameraman there is already a lie going around that mike asked me to stay away from him and that i didn't listen and approached him first this is false and pure muscle and fitness has security footage to prove it i think they should release it this is exactly what happened as i was filming bicep curls for a youtube short mike brushed by me and said sup this was our first engagement of that day i tried Chuckled. Mike said, oh, things are about to get real funny, as he walked away. I then asked him, what do you mean by that? And I made sure the cameraman was filming in case he did try something with funny business. Then he walked back towards me and then said, turn the camera off, and immediately jabbed me in the throat and I fell on the floor. Pure Muscle and Fitness allows filming, by the way. I stood back up and he told me never to talk about him ever again. Then he jabbed me in the throat a second time. Then he turned to my videographer and pushed him against a cable machine, then walked away. That is the full story, and there is gym security footage to prove it. It's up to the gym if they want to release it. As of now, Pure Muscle and Fitness is still allowing Mike to train clients. I also want to say I really, really appreciate the outpouring of support from the community and the gym members. It's honestly making the situation a lot easier to deal with for me, so thank you very much. So, we definitely have uncovered a lot more of the story. If what Jeff says is true, there's definitely some transgressions that happened in the gym, but it was primarily driven by Mike. Now, Pure Muscle and Fitness, as he said, was allowing Mike to continue to personal train in the gym. Now, a lot of people have said terrible things about Mike after this incident and his training ego in the gym. Pure Muscle and Fitness has not made any posts outside of one single post that took place after Jeff had made a very significant post calling them out to post the essential security footage. They finally made a post. Didn't release a single thing outside of this though. In this post, they say at Pure Muscle and Fitness, we have a strict zero tolerance policy for violence and bullying. We are deeply saddened by the recent incident involving unacceptable behavior by a member. This individual is not employed by or formally associated with our gym, and we have permanently removed their access to our facility, including any privileges to train clients. Our heart goes out to the members affected, and we stand in full support of their well-being. The safety of our community is our top priority, and we are committed to maintaining a safe and respectful environment for everyone. The matter is currently under police investigation, and we are cooperating fully with the authorities. Now, as we continue to read the comments, 
comments, you get to see a lot of things about Mike's character in this gym. For example, one of the comments by Tyler says, PSA, the handicapped parking spot closest to the door will now be open since he's gone. Another comment says, it rubs me the wrong way that it took Jeff to make a post calling these guys out publicly before they banned that nutcase Mike. They only condemn violence when it impacts the business. Another top liked comment says, I canceled my membership and unfollowed your IG account. You guys are so bad. I'm telling all my friends about how you did nothing until you were exposed on social media. You actually do condone violence when no one's watching. Another comment says, I remember one time I was doing a set of hip press. He came over with a client, asked me how many sets I had left. I said one more and he proceeded to remove my plates anyway for his client. I couldn't be bothered, but good riddance. Can't wait to visit Pure again soon. Another commenter says, dude has always walked around with a chip on his shoulder and an unnecessary hostile attitude. What a lame way to conduct yourself as a grown man. Glad he's gone. So look, it's no secret that Mike isn't a level-headed human being. He is definitely problematic. And I think anyone who understands why that might be, being that his past is quite traumatic with his occupational status and many other things, he definitely isn't well. And we've seen this in many other videos. I've posted in my last video about him where we talked about kind of his character in the stands at the Olympia when people came up to him and asked him how much he weighed. He literally was about to get into a fight. And that was just one instance. There's many more caught on camera. The individual is highly confrontational and has a really big problem with being contentious in almost any situation. Do I think he is a downright awful person? No, because I understand that everyone has their demons and they have to fight through them. I'm not someone to just condemn someone from being a human being and, and accepting that they're going to make mistakes because they did one thing wrong. I do realize the thing that they did wrong and how it can depict their character, there's no doubt in that, but I'm not going to let that guide my whole practice in terms of judging their character for the rest of their life. And then you have people on Big Mike's story tagging him saying, I'm with Mike, saying motivational quotes, your truest friends are the ones who will stand by you in your darkest moments because they're willing to brave the shadows with you. Other people saying through thick and thin. Other people say... <laughs> Like he's literally reposting content of people saying, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. He was lucky he just got a little push. I mean, this gets pretty hardcore and it seems like this is a pretty divided conversation right now because while a lot of the algorithm depicts people who are far against Mike, there's definitely a large group of people who are with Mike in some capacity talking about Jeff being annoying and somebody who's a lying, not natty, right? They're a fake natty. I made a video about Jeff being a natural and again, people think that I'm really against Jeff, but I made a whole video talking about why he's natural, why he's not lying to people. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's crazy. And then people on that that video also hated me for thinking that like Jeff wasn't lying. It's crazy. I can't say anything right. It's kind of like the whole situation, damned if you do, damned if you don't. But if you want my opinion, this whole situation is fucked. 2024 bodybuilding is just enlightening right now. I mean, we had this literally right after it or even before it. We had everyone dumping Matt Jansen. Now Matt Jansen just came out with a release statement saying that he's done coaching forever. Crazy shit's happening. Like crazy stuff is happening and it's wild, but I'm here for it. And I hope you guys are too. If you are, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how awful I am as a human being down in the comments below because some of you seem to like to do that, but hey, we're cool with it. And if you don't subscribe and you're still watching, I might throat push you. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my God, I'm just kidding, guys. All right, enough inappropriate jokes. I can't make jokes anymore, apparently. My editor says I have to cool it, so I'm cooling it, okay? <laughs>